Hi, I'm Jeff Vandermolen with Vermeer Corporation. I'm in the Environmental Service Department. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the maintenance of the cutter wheel of an SC252 stump cutter. Some things to look for when you're operating the machine. While you're operating the machine, you may notice that the machine seems to be jumping a little bit, maybe bouncing a little bit, um, and not getting a proper chip out of the machine. Something you want to look at is, are my teeth getting dull? Later we'll point out where to look at the teeth. Another thing is you may, while you're cutting, you may hear something go ching, you know, like a piece of metal. You might want to check if you've hit a piece of metal or if you hit a rock to see if the teeth are chipped or if you have a tooth missing. Also, it's important to maintain proper torque on your yellow jacket cutter teeth pockets to make sure that they're being held closely to the wheel and also that all your teeth are being held also to the pocket as well. Um, some of the other things you want to check as you go along is you want to check your, your bearings, you want to check your belt tensions, you know, important things to watch, you know, that you have proper belt tension is because if you run into something and your wheel starts slipping, maybe the belt isn't tight enough. Those are all things to check and you'll be able to find the proper way to do that in your maintenance manual. Okay, on our SC252 stump cutter daily walk around inspections, things we're going to want to check is the sharpness of the edge of our tooth. We want to maintain a sharp edge for better cutting ability. If the, if the edge seems to be dull, we can take the tooth loose and we can rotate it 180 degrees and tighten it back up. Another important thing to maintain when you're checking the edge is also check the torque on the nut that holds the tooth in place. You'll find a torque spec in the maintenance manual. Along with checking the torque spec on the nuts, we also want to check the torque specs on the bolts that hold the pocket on. That, once again, can also be found in your maintenance manual. Those are some key important things to check when you're walking around and doing a daily inspection of your machine. Also, on daily inspection of your machine, at the end of the day, you'll want to grease your bearings, the jack shaft bearings, the cutter wheel bearings, and any other bearings and grease certs that may need to be done on a daily basis. You'll want to do this at the end of the day so that when the bearings are warm, you can put grease in there and as the machine cools, condensation will not rust the surface of the bearings out or the shaft. Also on your inspections of the machine is on a weekly basis you should also check the tension of your belts. The belts for driving the cutter wheel and the belt to drive from the engine to the jack shaft. 